As I go down this path of restoring vintage bikes, I'm really finding some fun ways to bring back life to parts that look like they're pretty much non-usable. This particular crank is a SR signature crank and I wanna to try to restore it to its original shine. Bring that life back into it, take out those nicks and those scrapes. The first step in this whole process is putting on some degreaser, getting rid of all the dirt and all the grime. I personally like to use Simple Green as I find it to be a good solvent that isn't super harsh. So let's go ahead, let's get this cleaned off and then we'll start on the next step. Now that we've got it cleaned, you guys can see some of the gouges and scrapes and dings. That's gonna be the next process in restoring this particular crank. These deep grooves are gonna to need to come out. And really the only way to get these deep grooves out is by using a pretty rough piece of sandpaper. I'm going to use 80 grit for the very first sanding on this. On some parts you won't need to go that far, but on these with the deep gouges and scratches, that's what I'll be using. So let's go ahead, let's disassemble it and get these chain rings off. That way we can start working on each individual piece and get every part of it nice and clean. One of the things that I really enjoy about taking apart all of these old vintage parts are seeing all the unique things on them, like these engraved model numbers along with the tooth count of each chain ring. You can really get to know the part that you're actually working on. And it will make it a lot easier when it comes to removing all the grease and grime. Now that we've got it apart, it's time to go ahead and get sanding. This is the 80 grit sandpaper that I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna hand sand this. I'm not gonna use like an orbital sander or anything like that. Just hand sand it and the 80 grit will wear down those grooves pretty quick. You can do it a couple of different ways by just moving it back and forth or you can place the sandpaper on the ground to get the ends of the cranks, which this actually worked pretty well. I was pretty surprised at how easily I was able to get out those big nicks on the ends of it. Then I'm gonna switch over to a 220 grit, and this will be the final grit that I use before I start a wet sanding process. Now don't worry, this is what it'll look like after you're done sanding with a 220 grit. It looks pretty rough. It doesn't look like you're gonna be able to bring it back to a nice shine, but don't worry, the next step is wet sanding. I went ahead and jumped straight to a 1000 grit wet sand. You could work your way up from say a 400 to a 600 to an 800 to a 1000 all the way up to even a 3000, depending on how much of that shine you really want to get. After I'm done wet sanding this, what I want to do next is do a polishing. And the polishing is going to be a four step process. With three of those steps on the buffing wheel, I'm going to use a rough compound, a fine compound, and then a super fine compound. And each one of these compounds is going to basically help remove those fine scratches that were left from any of the sanding that we've done.
This next step is my favorite. It's the Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. With this step, it will really bring out the shine in the parts that you're working with. And you also just apply this by hand. You don't need any type of buffing tool or anything like that. Simply apply it, rub it on, it'll start to turn dark, and then you just wipe it off with a microfiber towel and the shine really comes through. That mother's polish is well worth the money and uh, I really enjoy it. If you guys know of a better polish out there, let me know in the comments below, but the mother's mag and aluminum polish has been pretty impressive. Now we just need to assemble it and then we can see what our final product looks like. And here is what the final product looks like. I think this turned out really, really well. It looks brand new. The nicks and the gouges are completely removed. The chain rings look brand new. This thing is ready to be put back on the bike. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys like this video, if it was helpful, hit that like button as that helps push my video out to other people. And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.